Okay. So this is Vampire Bloodlines. No, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. That's a long ass title. Um, there's a sequel coming out for this soon. And it looks pretty good. I always heard about this game, but. <clears throat> But having seen it, I didn't think it would be good. Let me turn this audio down, actually. But, um... The graphics suck balls by today's standards. <laughs> but, um... I've never been put off by bad graphics. Like, I care more about the core gameplay and stuff. Um, but anyways. I've already played a little bit of this. Like, I haven't gotten past the tutorial yet. But I'm just gonna start a new game anyways, just... Um, cause why not? Um, the fuck? Okay, so the screen is black now, but you can see my cursor. Oh, okay. Cause it was loading, I guess. Or... Um, a new game starts with creating a new character. Would you like to answer a series of questions? Nah. And let the game create your character. Go to the character sheet. Nah, man, I'm real niggas. Go to the character sheet. Anyways, I already did this. This part I played up until like, uh, fuck. I played up until like this. This. I'll, I'll I'll let you you guys know. But anyways, so there's a bunch of different classes for this shit. And you got like uppity vampires, and they all have different perks and stuff. Like the uppity vampire. Uh, cannot feed on low life humans like prostitutes. <laughs> like prostitutes and the homeless. It literally says that. Um, so it's actually it's pretty interesting. This is based on some pen and paper game. So I figured like at least the role playing aspects of this game will be pretty cool. Uh, so I was torn between the, this one, which is like the the mystic ritualistic type vampire and I ended up choosing Gangrel because that's like the druidic type they're like more in touch with like the beasts beastly side and they're like societal outcasts and stuff um then you got Bruya that means witch in Spanish I think so this game is obviously some Illuminati shit and then you got they're the crazy ones and then you got Nosferatu and then you got you got all this shit but anyways I went with uh, Gangrel you can't customize appearance, which is fine. I never do that anyways. I don't really care for it. But I actually didn't see how the female for this looks. Oh. Let's go back. Coat bolt tool. Nice little shape there. Oh, oh, actually, I gave my... Okay, yeah. So... Next! And I named my character Dresscar. I don't know where I came... I don't know how I came up with that name. I just thought it sounded cool. Well, I use that for um, when I play Shadowrun 2, which is also a pretty good game. I wouldn't buy that game, though. Um, or any game, for that matter. Because, you know, like... <laughs> Very rarely do I buy games, I'm not going to lie. But whatever. Um, okay, so physical... What did I go with here? I can't even remember. Uh, oh, yeah, I wanted to... Uh, one of those and one strength. Strength is pretty obvious. It's just like, how strong are you, basically? And then I went with charisma or um, wait, persuasion. Yeah, I don't want to haggle. Haggling is, is, in my experience, is like very useless. Um, but, uh, apparently I can't up boost one of these yet so I'll just boost I want to be a hacker so in order to do that I need intelligence I think uh, perception uh, wits yeah I need wits for that so I'm gonna do that uh, fucking and animalism that's like summons you can summon animals to like attack people or you can you can transform i like the idea of transforming 
that's kind of like what you think when you think druid anyways so i'm gonna give that one and this just makes you stronger fortitude uh dodge intimidation subterfuge seduction you need that for seduction it's like it's pretty it's like a pretty complicated web of skills and talents but um what do i want i want dot maybe, maybe i want one of those actually i got one of those and one dodge so brawl and dodge and then firearms security um i kind of want melee but i'll just get damn i kind of want stealth too but i find that stealth is not particularly useful in these games i hate well i hate games that do stealth that aren't primarily stealth based the stealth aspect in games like that is always bad. Like Splinter Cell Stealth is good because it's a it's a stealth based game. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go on computer there. Any game that's not primarily stealth that tries to do stealth is just bad in my experience, and it's just frustrating. But anyways, um, so I'm done with that. This is gonna be the first cutscene in the game. Um. <coughs> Oh, I, the concept of this game is pretty cool. Just like, I mean, who doesn't want to be a fucking vampire? It's a little cheesy. That's that's actually kind of what I like about vampire fiction is that it's always kind of cheesy, like almost on purpose. Um, unless you're like watching that that gay ass Twilight shit or whatever, but the ones that I've seen have been like that. Is what I'm saying. I couldn't stomach Twilight for more than like half an hour. It's just like I just couldn't get into it. It's not for me. It's like it's just boring. It's like oh, you know, <laughs> some skinny faggot is edgy, and some girl is the only one who understands him. Blah blah blah. It's like who gives a fuck? I probably shouldn't be talking over the cutscene, right? This is this is just a trial let's play. My apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a trouble. We're here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the present of our existence. Actually, maybe turn that audio up. This is a pilot let's play, guys. I'm like. I'm figuring this shit out. Alright. I guess we could go with that. As Prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of silence. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these. Actually, yeah, turn it up more. But then it's going to get like ridiculously loud, isn't it? requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not to refuse permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I That's consider the accused spelled child. a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. <laughs> Amazing graphics. <laughs> Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit!
If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Jesus, this bitch is walking around with fucking Your thong on and shit. Tragic. My apologies, but you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must, must <laughs> fucking dreadlock vampire. If we wish to survive, with a satanic shirt when someone, that has six six on them back. Laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your side. <laughs> These your fucking child. animations, wow. You will be brought to Santa Monica. Holy shit. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, Fletchling. Don't come back until you do. So this guy is one of the uppity zombies that's in charge, I guess. Clearly. Not only do vampires hide from morals. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm gonna end this here. I just want to try this out. I'll be black.